<laughs> Hello. Hello. So, <laughs> we are on the live. I will just check if it's for sure. Uh, yeah, so today, tonight, uh, we are having very nice guests, I, which I love so much. Uh, my teacher, Michal Kaili Griggs and Trishta Croft. Um, they are coming to Lithuania very, very soon. And uh, we want to talk to you that you could uh, know them energy, that uh, you could meet them live like this, like now. And uh, you also can ask some questions if you want uh, during the live. I will try to follow them. Uh, but also, I have a lot of questions. And I, I wrote down some. But if we will go to some flow, to some different direction, so it's also okay. Lives are going like that always. So, um, introduce yourself. How do you see yourself? One and another. <laughs> I'm Michal Kali Grik. Um, I um, experienced Tantra since uh, 15 years, and since 10 years, uh, I'm teaching uh, more and more intensively, um, learning uh, how to love better and doing it and sharing it. It's my passion. Uh, yeah, teaching Tantra, it's my passion. I love it. Uh, it's my life. Uh, so that's shortly. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm a partner of this beautiful goddess, Trish <laughs> Crop. Beautiful. So now your turn. <laughs> Uh, so my name is Trish and I'll be teaching at the festival um, alongside with Michal. Um, and my background in Tantra, it started about 12 years ago. Um, it started with Tantra, it started with Egyptian magic or Egyptian Tantra and I... Um, went on the path of um, exploring a uh, soul searching with um, Egyptian mysteries and magic and stumbled across the, the mysteries of the goddess Isis, which is all she is the mother of Tantra in Egypt. And, um, and very soon and quickly I stumbled across sacred sexuality and, um, and my path has opened up and blossomed since, since then. And, um, yeah, um, my passions are for um, for sacred sexuality, um, energy work, kundalini, um, magic, um, manifesting through um, your channels, and um, yeah, and um, yeah, and and stumbled um, across Mihal and my path um, as both tantra teachers, and now. Um, both teaching together as well as separate as well. And, um, um, you know, both our passions um, with with Tantra and, and the way of life or, or to um, um, bringing more awareness, more consciousness, more love into your life, into your relationships and not just partner relationships, but relationships with your family, your friends, um, animals, nature, um, your world, um, the world. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's always interesting uh, who people or teachers were before they met Tantra. Ooh. <laughs> uh, because why I'm asking this? Because people then can relate Maybe they are living a regular life now and want some big changes. And there are some people who are afraid always. Uh, they say, maybe it's not for me or I am not ready. I want you to talk about it more. Why people are afraid? Why it's a little bit maybe silly to afraid? And uh, is there something to afraid? 
I, who you were before, you can, you can speak both one and another, uh, who you were before and how Tantra changed your life. Is it yeah. your way back or no? <laughs> yeah, I think um, with Tantra, it it's a way it's a way of life it, it's um it's not just a workshop it's 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 a a um it'll open up your path spiritually it'll open your you up to your path um with so much more um awareness about yourself about um your awareness around you and your heart opening up to loving self because we know when we talk about love it all comes back to self so tantra is a self it is a self practice but it also is then the practice of um connection and when we say connection connection is connecting um to everything that that um in the world um, your relationship so Going back to your your question is, um, yeah, I was a lost soul. I was a very lost soul, um, um, lost within my path, myself. Um, um, come from addictions, a lot of addictions, um, love addiction, sex addiction, drug addiction. Um, abusive relationships um yeah just just not being able to get it right and um spirituality helped me a lot it helped me open my my path meditation practice dedication um yeah it it it, it opened me up to a whole new world um, where we don't need to self-sabotage ourselves. We don't need to go into conditions and, and um, old belief systems of what we've been taught. We can actually pave the way and make new pathways because um, anything is possible. Tantra helps you open up to the potential of who you really, truly are and to explore those realms. So, um yeah, in a nutshell, that's yeah, my path. Mm -hmm. So, yes, um, since uh, I'm uh, 14 years old, uh, I become a uh, punk and uh, uh, I start to see that the world is not uh, the way how I would like it to see. So uh, I uh, started to be uh, activist, uh, not only um, taking the drinking uh, and exploring part of uh, being a punk, but uh, really uh, feeling uh, to do something to make uh, the world a better place. And um, yes, that's that's um, um, basically still my path a bit, um, uh, and. Um, Yeah, when I um, uh, meet Tantra in my life, uh, I was uh, already father of a six, seven-year-old daughter. Uh, so I was uh, already uh, feeling to make a, a life better. I was learning uh, to become a better father. And uh, so I, it's also uh, influenced my life in a very positive way. I'm uh, blessed uh, by uh, having uh, my beautiful daughter. Uh, and uh, um, but uh, uh, along that, I was um, uh, fighting uh, in all the most efficient way I could uh, figure out. Um, for a better world, uh, I was uh, making uh, videos. Uh, videos is a very strong medium uh, to spread the message. So I'm happy that we make another one uh, right now, live. Mm. Um, we continue my passion <laughs> one way or another. Uh, so um, 
yes, uh, that's. I felt uh, this is a very efficient way of uh, making the world a better place. I was making uh, reports uh, of uh, different uh, events, different uh, organizations uh, to support them uh, on their actions, uh, on their um, activities. And uh, yeah, I, even I was uh, very um, content and proud that I do my best. I was very also passionate about it. Um, still, there was some aspect uh, of me that uh, I was not very comfortable. Uh, I was addicted from sex and, uh, you know, um, even I was supporting uh, the female liberation and uh, uh, the feminists uh, uh, in their fight for uh, good rights. And so uh, I was still, um, yes, uh, from other side, uh, being hooked uh, into the uh, porn industry, like, uh, yes, doing something opposite. And yes, I was doing things basically a lot um, uh, against uh, my own ethics and I didn't felt good. And also this addiction was the path uh, to go down. And uh, I didn't felt uh, good with that going down. And I didn't see any uh, way out actually. I could not uh, even know that there is any way out if I looked around. Uh, most of my friends, colleagues, uh, had the same problems uh, and um, actually it was kind of normal you know that um, yes we are facing it and uh, it's uh, so 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 um yes when i uh, got uh, into tantra uh, i uh, realized that uh, there is a way out and actually now i can be proud of my sacred sexuality uh, while I was uh, ashamed and feeling guilty about uh, uh, my addiction to sex before. So, so, so that's a huge transformation. And uh, when I realized uh, that uh, I can uh, empower my life uh, in such a beautiful way, I can uh, uh, actually find uh, how to love better uh, and uh, do it. Um, when I experienced uh, that, and uh, also I experienced that, that uh, it changed uh, me uh, uh, like like this um, not the best side of me and also it gives me so much uh, beauty and so much love, uh, so much uh, power in my life uh, I realized that uh, actually uh, there is uh, no better way to, uh, to make a world a better uh, for the others than sharing this uh, my experience uh, sharing this uh, message of tantra uh, sharing the wisdom of tantra to the others uh, it changed my life in on individual level so uh, i was very happy to uh, share that uh, and that's what i'm doing i'm still activist but uh, yes the way uh, how i do now and uh, uh, sharing my experience how to love better and do it through Tantra, through sacred sexuality, through uh, example of being in conscious relationship, what we do with uh, Trish. Oh. So, yes, uh, <laughs> that's my story a, a, a bit, yes. <clears throat> you are writing in, in the descriptions of, uh, of events a uh, very good sentence you will never be the same after this yes mm -hmm. so i remember the first time uh, i went to your workshop i even didn't know what is tantra i already knew a path of meditation yoga and etc but uh, something was missing in all this spiritual path and I was going through the Tipi in Lithuania in Rainbow Gathering. Uh, I felt some amazing energy. I sat down and you started to talk about secret sexuality. And then I realized, okay, this was missing. Every spiritual path is okay, but what to do with sexual energy? Is it spiritual or not? 
So this really changed completely my life when I included this. And um, I don't know, it's just so amazing to, to, to have this one more uh, area in life to make it more spiritual. And uh, this sentence, uh, you will never be the same, explains me everything. You really never will be the same after first go to the Tantra path. And um, I want to ask you one more thing. Uh, I see now you together, and it's very beautiful. It's very nice to see your blinking eyes. Your, your, you have a perfect match. I, I see, I think, and I see, and I feel. And uh, people always are looking for for a soulmate. Yes, and uh, it's very hard to know is it that right person or no. Yes, it's always these questions. Yeah. And I want you to ask what to do before you meet your perfect match, what you have to do before to manifest your perfect uh, partner, what you have to do before that it, sh that it would come. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Very good question. Very good question. I, I did yeah. some workshops on it. Yeah. So, uh, but I let you. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, I guess we're never ever ready. Um, uh, we can always say, "Oh, I have to do this before I meet my soulmate," or "I have to be perfect before I," and and I and I think. The right person comes at the right time and, and we know that in relationships that person will come um, not because we're perfect but because they're there to help us in some type of lesson or soul growth that we need to go through and and um, and and both you'll both um, mirror each other and and help each other along the path and i and i think um i think to be ready um is just to um do the work on yourself because the more you do the work on yourself the more love you're able to give to that partnership the more you'll get out of that relationship i think i i, I don't think you uh, you know we can always um you know yeah definitely we we want to call in that perfect partner but we have to be perfect as uh, like how can i say we have to work on ourselves first too because it potentially just comes down to to us and and um if we're up to receive the love and if we're up to also give the love to um such a good good questions <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. I just uh, said something uh, along this um, at my last retreat uh, here in Poland. Uh, it's uh, you don't first of think you don't wait for the prince on the white horse uh, for many years because then you know like you're losing the potential of life and you losing the potential of being in a conscious uh, relationship and sometimes uh, like uh, what happened uh, um like um people connected just on the time of uh, the uh, retreat uh, for uh, four days but because they did it consciously uh, it uh, really uh, they were very happy because they see like the uh, growth uh, uh, the, what they went through the process and what they learn what they inspire each other what they practice through uh, they see that they can bring it uh, into uh, the future relationship uh, these are uh, all benefits uh, from being even just for these four days in conscious way. Mm. So any relationship um, can bring you to uh, loving yourself better and uh, uh, loving the other in a better way. We, uh, If we go uh, consciously into uh, relating uh, with each other, then um, we will bring some benefits uh, to the next uh, one. So even if uh, this relationship uh, 
you see that the maybe the partner is not really the best uh, um, dream uh, guy who you dreamed about um, it's uh, if you connect with that person who knows maybe because of you both will practice consciously and you will use the tools of tantra you uh, may uh, see that uh, after a while, he may become this dream person. And that's what happens all the time. Uh, so, so um, yes, and I, of course, uh, um, I agree with what Trish said. Uh, like the best way, and that's what I also taught at this uh, workshop, how to attract the best uh, potential partner. Uh, I taught basically work on yourself. Uh, as much you work on yourself, then you will attract uh, the best uh, partner, uh, the, same, same the, the best yeah. mirror uh, for you. Uh, so, so uh, yes. Um, uh, so, yes, I teach people how to use sacred sexuality. And uh, I will guide you today. Also, will give you the practical um, way of how to use it, don't lose it method. Uh, that you don't lose the energy through the typical sex. Uh, uh, if you are alone, you can do it uh, by self-love, uh, self-pleasuring. Uh, but uh, I will teach you how to bring this energy up and nourish your heart. And heart uh, is the uh, uh, chakra of connection, chakra of love. So you not only connect with yourself better, you uh, love yourself better, mm -hmm. but you also nourish uh, your potential of uh, uh, connecting with someone else and uh, maybe loving or being loved with someone else. So, mm -hmm. so uh, yes, uh, that's um, my best advice, uh, mm. I would say. <laughs> yeah, and when you have... When you have already your perfect match, what is then a conscious relationship? What includes in it? Mm. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, so um, yes, um, you both uh, dedicate uh, the being in this relationship to always uh, commit to loving yourself better and doing it and loving the other better and doing it. Learning how to do it better and doing it. That's, that's my path. That's, that's my, me being conscious mm -hmm. in the relationship. Uh, and, uh, to uh, love better, the basic thing is to heal our mainly, like at the beginning, uh, that's our beginning chakras, to heal our sexuality from the past wounds that we do not project on each other. Uh, some uh, of the uh, traumas, uh, what maybe we got uh, from uh, our fathers, our mothers, or from uh, uh, maybe uh, our um, previous uh, relationship or we repeat this trauma mm. uh, and actually we carry this trauma since uh, thousands of years of uh, patriarchal system. Uh, so, so uh, yes, uh, that's very important. And yes, it's like uh, part of it is again like uh, 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 Healing yourself from the addiction, from the attachment to uh, typical sex, uh, and transforming it into so-called uh, sacred sexuality, mm -hmm. what for us is one of the most beautiful, most uh, empowering, most close, uh, most intimate expression of uh, more and more unconditional love to ourselves, but mainly also to the partner. <laughs> and um, uh, using this power of uh, relationship, uh, being together, mm -hmm. uh, to even multiply uh, this energy. Uh, it's, uh, yes, also one of the most energizing uh, uh, way of uh, expressing this more and more unconditional love. So, so, so yes, um, 
that's uh, that's uh, that's 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 um, shortly it. But also like recognizing and using uh, each other as a mirrors, like uh, see each other reflection, like uh, see that uh, yeah, if uh, I don't like something. Uh, in, Trish, for example, maybe it, it is uh, actually something in me what I don't like, and actually, uh, or uh, other way, um, maybe if uh, something uh, um, there is triggering me by her, maybe it's actually my inner woman uh, needs some uh, 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 healing or some uh, uh, work on this exactly uh, thing what is triggered. And um, sometimes uh, mm. this helps us to um, become better person for the other, and also like uh, uh, using power of love uh, to go through the triggers. That you know, like uh, mm. uh, you know, like um, I said, like uh, um, uh, one of the best teacher for me was my daughter because. Um, I loved her so much unconditionally. So sometimes I had to bite my unhealthy ego and change for her. Uh, mm -hmm. Even my unhealthy ego wanted to hold into the old uh, ways. And that's what also happens uh, when we love someone in the relationship. It helps us to, it motivates us. No, we don't want to keep repeating the same mistake and hurting each other and uh, 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 yes, uh, or blaming each other, whatever, uh, uh, mistrust each other, but we uh, use the power of love that, hey, okay, um, if I'm not going to change, this may go everything apart. So this also helps us. And yes, it's uh, also like uh, uh, um, very important aspects, you know, like we use the triggers to... Uh, um, make us aware that there is some wound what we are over uh, overacting on when it's touched and yes in conscious relationship usually uh, we are like uh, divinely orchestrated by universe to be together <laughs> to actually trigger each other wounds <laughs> and in order to uh, see okay uh, heal them and uh, to go through uh, the things. Uh, so uh, yes, um, that's um, yeah. That's shortly. Of course, uh, uh, we uh, uh, guide people through uh, courses on conscious relationships. Uh, so so yes, it's a, a beautiful, uh, most powerful uh, way. Of growing together, like uh, I, it's part of tantra, but also like as a uh, think apart. I would say it's one of the most uh, powerful way uh, of uh, spirituality because uh, it really uh, um, amplify uh, all the love what you can uh, um, do and uh, learn uh, in the relationship. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Very often I uh, I'm having a questions to me to myself from from people from followers from visitors from angels and goddesses who come um how about polygamic relationship I have no answer never I I say I don't know uh because uh, for me it didn't work uh but it's very uncomfortable question for me i always uh, feel not comfortable in this but mm. i know that there there is some uh shadow like under the tantra that that it should be okay yes i say shadow not in the dark way but it is in the world yeah. yeah just what do you think about that and is it possible or not or it's like uh, maybe you have experience with it or maybe you have some other teachers experiences or something i think um look i think that with tantra there's a a new i don't say a new movement but there's a, a new hype to polyamory 
you know. I mean, look, it's always been around and, you know, monogamy is, you know, quite traditional. And, um, you know, there's this spiritual liberation of, of polyamory and, and um, you know, you're not spiritual enough um, if you aren't free sexually, I think. And, um, you know, I think um, it really comes down to your heart and what you um, what you desire, you know. I mean, look, we know um, there's polyamory and there's polyfuckery. I'm going to say polyfuckery is where it's just a ticket to fuck around, um, pardon my French. But it – and I, I, do, I, I, I don't see the consciousness in that. Um, for me personally, I've tried um, open, poly, and I know in my heart I'm monogamous through and through. I love sacred union. I, For me, I don't have the energy to have multiple partners. Um, I'm flat out having one partner and being conscious with that, <laughs> then being conscious with myself, and then being conscious with my business, my son, and my beautiful friends, my soul tribes, and that's enough for me and that's enough for me. I mean, it works for some people and for, for some. And it, it comes down to perf personal preference. And so Tantra is not just polyamory, you know, and, and it is um, monogamy. It is polyamorous. It's open. Whatever your heart desires it, 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 in, and you need to, um, yeah, follow that. Yeah, what do you, what's your take, Miha? So <laughs> yes, um, uh, I have to say that uh, yes, through my life uh, I experience uh, all, and uh, I have to say like that uh, uh, it uh, was it uh, was beneficial for me to experience uh, and feel and taste, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, also I have to say that like uh, give the truth that. Uh, we are very strongly conditioned, uh, falsely, uh, to be in monogamous uh, relationship. Uh, uh, I can see people are like, uh, yeah, have to stay together for even they not happy, mm -hmm. and that's what for me it's uh, also very wrong. That's for sure. So um, yes, mm -hmm. uh, and I have to see or say also that 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 uh, uh, it's a new um, um, liberation. Uh, what uh, uh, it's uh, uh, happening uh, slowly in humanity and sometimes with the new things uh, people have to figure out uh, but I would say everyone uh, a bit and also I guess humanity uh, through their own experiencing it not by uh, like uh, uh, I don't know uh, forcing themselves uh, into it but uh, through experiencing it uh, so so that's uh, a bit about, but like um, I would like to um, refer here not just to polyamory, but uh, also to anything what uh, we try like to try uh, if uh, even is uh, like some uh, I don't know kinky fantasy or some uh, BDSM and whatever. I like to ask uh, people: Is it uh, from um, the um, uh, your need uh, from the uh, energy of luck you're lacking something and you're searching for something and uh, yes uh, that's what it's happening uh, actually a lot in the sexuality when we are uh, uh, attached uh, addicted from sex we are uh, uh, especially the men uh, very often you could see like it's like chasing the rabbit always looking for something new, experience, uh, and like more experience, uh, more harder, more uh, uh, hardcore, more whatever. Uh, and yes, uh, if uh, like polyamory is just another uh, way of uh, uh, chasing the rabbit, uh, then, then we have like what you name it, uh, polyfuckery. Uh, <laughs> if it's coming uh, from the, the kind of like uh, 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 um, urge, sexual urge. And that's what, uh, you know, like, uh, yes, you could have, uh, 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 like, for example, 
Tantra BDSM, where what is full of love and what can guide you into uh, some uh, um, uh, using uh, some energies to heal yourself, to liberate yourself. But yes, if you are uh, like addicted from sex, uh, you would like to get uh, into it uh, because uh, yes, uh, uh, there is never enough uh, of sex. Uh, uh, and you always uh, chasing this uh, rabbit and you never gonna catch it uh, and uh, then uh, whatever you uh, going to experience it's gonna be always um, mm, you know like uh, you will not find the happiness in uh, that you know like mm. and uh, yes what we are guiding into again <laughs> coming back to the use it don't lose it uh, like uh, yes you don't have to chase the rabbit. The rabbit is uh, always here. You just have to learn uh, how to be content with this, what you have. But uh, actually, yes, sometimes people don't know uh, that they have uh, uh, the power to satisfy uh, themselves sexually and what goes further, of course, in the relationship. Uh, and uh, you start to form the relationship uh, not out of need, uh, but out of sharing of love and that's you know like uh, mm -hmm. um yes one of the things if it's uh, like out of need if you need uh, something then it's uh, not always uh, work on the long term so yes that's that's i guess my a bit thoughts about it yeah. uh, um, we are monogamous relationship uh, and uh, uh, we're happy with it we are in conscious uh, relationship and also like um, what uh, I believe uh, as longer you are with one person then you um, have potential to grow much deeper uh, and uh, so, mm -hmm. so so that's also what uh, um, we happily uh, guide uh, on our retreats even if um, people join the exercises uh, for uh, one day together and they stay uh, together uh, sometimes they make deeper connection and they go much deeper than if they change every exercise uh, uh, because yes uh, every exercise you uh, kind of like fall start uh, the masks what you release uh, with uh, that person by connecting already uh, you have to put again and you know like uh, it's like uh, when we are uh, in a relationship or in the uh, even friendship uh, but we are like then we are open with each other we don't have to pretend and put some mask of politeness or you know like uh, we don't have to be careful with uh, not to trigger the person and whatever we can be ourselves and that's the same you know as uh, longer you are with someone then uh, yes you uh, can uh, uh, also go much deeper into your experience into your process into uh, your healing uh, and liberation actually this is uh, yes yeah. also as well so yeah. that's uh, but yes um, as i'm saying there are pluses and minuses on different uh, on pa moments of our life uh, and uh, the situations are different uh, yes, uh, so uh, we um, we are not against, uh, and we do do not condemn uh, things. Like we yeah. completely uh, respect people, and uh, you know, it's uh, as I respect myself in this moment of my life uh, before. You know, mm. aho. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Look, I I think um, you know, there's always going to be spiritual fads. Yeah, and and um, you know what's in at the moment, and and we know polyamory is in at the moment, especially in the tantra movement. Um, and like Michal said, I'm not I, in the tantra movement. I, uh, not not in your <laughs> not in your tantra movement. Sorry, <laughs> in the world. But, um, in the world. In the world. Let's get that. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think the most important part is is. You know, like we we're talking about being conscious, being conscious of, of why you do the things you do. Am I, you know, am I, um, 
monogamy because of old belief systems and it's just put on to me or am I in polyamory because I'm scared of commitment it's easy you know like it, it's it's just being really conscious of of what is your own belief system what is your heart's desire and 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 following that and um yeah yeah and I and and I have to agree with me how I think um for me um having one partner and going deep like going into sacred union going deep where you can bear your soul and I'm not saying you can't you may be able to do that with polyamory but I I feel the more focus in one direction, the more energy that goes into it instead of if we, we focus our energy on a vast um, point, um, it doesn't go as deep as one one focal point. So, um, yeah, and there's potential um, for absolute magic and, um, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah so... Um what is tantra we can google we can ask we can uh, watch a lot of live streams we can uh, do whatever go to the workshops and uh, see and feel and etc but what is tantra not so yes <laughs> i made video about that so i can uh a bit uh, share uh, what I said. So uh, Tantra is not uh, uh, using the um, uh, beautiful tools of intimacy and uh, um, beautiful uh, tools of uh, uh, deeper connections to basically fuck around. Um, it's uh, if you break uh, uh, women's hearts uh, or men's hearts uh, around and uh, you, um, you 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 just do it uh, because of your uh, usually sex addiction or sexual immaturity uh, or sex yeah. uh, sexual immaturity then 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 uh, this is not tantra this is definitely not tantra so for me for example um, if someone is teaching any kind of sexuality or uh, ta so-called tantra, but doesn't teach the sublimation, uh, uh, like basically, uh, yes, using, not losing the method or uh, microcosmic orbit in sexual Tao or just sublimation is called, uh, that uh, you basically freeing yourself from uh, sexual attachment, sexual desires, uh, running on desires, uh, sexual addictions, then um, yes, whatever you do, you can learn, uh, I don't know, uh, tantric massage, or you can learn uh, some beautiful, uh, that uh, with the melting hack, uh, you can connect in beautiful way. And uh, or uh, through the looking into each other's eyes, you can uh, connect on the eye gazing uh, level, and uh, you can connect on the soul, and you can really make the person feeling good and beautiful, and so. But if all of this, uh, uh, it's just to fulfill your uh, um, sexual urges without taking care, conscious care for the other person and actually in the end breaking uh, uh, the woman's uh, or the man's heart uh, then uh, yes you are a, a professional uh, fuck boy uh, you know like who got some tools and uh, yes use them in uh, not uh, very best conscious way so so this is not tantra uh, i um like to um while I have voice uh, to the others, like to um, um, ask uh, all the teachers who hear and uh, uh, or uh, people who may uh, become teachers in the future and whatever, uh, please, this is very essential part of Tantra. If you teach something uh, without uh, 
teaching the people these basics. Yes, this is not Tantra. <laughs> so this is yeah. the main thing what uh, I feel. Mm. And when when we when we talk about sexual energy too, we're not just talking about sex and um, you know the play of it. it we're, we're, sexual energy is is as we know it's it's our it's what we were made from. It, it's um, our our parents made love and and um, created us through the act of that sexual energy. It's the creative power and it's um so tantra is not about manipulation or manipulating that energy to get what you want it is it is being able to use that energy within yourself to better your life better yourself nourish your higher chakras um, bring creative expression, bring your highest potential to who you are and the world around you and make a da damn change in this world, you know. But if Tantra is not using that energy um, in a lower form where, let's say, Mihal was saying, um, men may use that sexual energy and, and it's just immature sexual energy it's where it's not conscious where we allow shadow to come and play in in amongst that and and not and, and being unconscious where men will use that and and be fuck boys or women will use that to manipulate you know we we know sex cells we know this energy this life force this potent life force um we can get whatever we want and and if we're not conscious we can allow our shadows to come in and and um, manipulate and and so it's using it's you tantra is all about purity it's it's bringing this pure life force um and bringing it up into our highest potential and um, creating a better world, yeah, instead of um, shadows and darkness and, and um, just repeating patterns and things that were passed on to us from generations before. And it's, it's you know, we're in the new age of Aquarius where we're here to dominate and to make a, a change in the, in this world as, as what you're doing now with your beautiful work and your festivals and your beautiful retreats and um, your land and everything you're doing. It's We know that Tantra is all about making a, a, a change in this world. Yeah. And uh, knowing yeah. this, uh, I would like to just uh, clarify here that uh, yes, if you are um, went through this uh, forty-nine day challenge, that you are completely not uh, attached uh, and not interested anymore with the clitoral orgasm or ejaculatory orgasms, but you are more into tantric love making uh, and. Uh, uh, other higher organs, what you gain the energy, not lose the energy, uh, then, then uh, yes, when you are, uh, are free from this uh, typical sex, uh, then, uh, yeah, you can uh, get wild. It's uh, But it, 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 there is purity in this wildness. There is no uh, harm, but it's actually, uh, you know, um, love a lot of love we can't we come back to when we when we really tap into that potent pure sexual life force we come back to um our inner child our inner innocence our inner potential our inner soul our our um yeah our wildness our our uniqueness our authenticity yeah, that's, I think, we're all searching for that authenticity, to be completely authentic in every moment and um, to give everything we've got, um, yeah.
Yeah. You know, all all uh, this live stream, I'm having these shivers because I feel that it's very good, uh, good conversation. And people yeah. who are just joining now, uh, please watch it from the beginning because <laughs> it's uh, mm -hmm. a lot of good thoughts we touched. Um, okay, uh, for people who don't know nothing, uh, what to expect? And uh, they also can come to Tantra workshops, even they didn't touch it at all. Um, how to introduce what people do in Tantra workshops? What do you do? I, I'm having the questions, messages and everything. What you, what you are doing there? What, uh, what to expect? What kind of practices? And I just saying, just come. It's all, it's all about energy. Or if I say in words, what kind of practice it doesn't shows the the meaning yes uh, so maybe you can uh, show in words the meaning of tantra workshops what to expect and maybe what to expect in, in our tantra camp what we are doing uh, from july 1st till july 8th uh, this uh, this july the first week in uh, in Lithuania you are coming so what to expect in these workshops and uh, what kind of changes and also what kind of practices hmm. yes uh, so uh, the, uh, how uh, my friend said uh, once uh, Paul uh, there is no way back <laughs> so uh, you will never be the same transformation um we going to give you the uh, experiences um we mainly teach through experience uh, the tools what you can take with you to your daily life and uh, experiences what uh, will um, yes change your life uh, will transform your life it will some of them they may heal you from uh, the past wounds uh, some of them they may liberate you from the conditions uh, what uh, we didn't choose uh, for ourselves uh, some of them they may uh, expand you in love make you grow in ecstasy you may feel the ecstatic feelings, ecstasies, what you never experienced before and what are much higher and what uh, are not that you lose the energy and you mm -hmm. go to sleep after ejaculation, but uh, you actually feel um, full of energy. It uh, nourish your health. It nourish your passion. Uh, it helps you to find the great passion. It uh, make you love better yourself, your partner, um, universe, um, so, so, so it's, uh, uh, yes, uh, we will give, uh, like, from the, like, we will start with the very um, uh, easy and small uh, exercises, like uh, looking into each other's eyes, and we, basically, what we also do at the Tantric workshops, we give time, we give time to ourselves, we give time to our partners. So yes, we look into the eyes for some uh, longer time. Uh, I already, you can try uh, and feel. If you look um, for more than 30 seconds, not only happy hormone, oxytocin is start to be produced and you both feel more healthy and more happy. But also, yes, uh, you uh, establish the soul connection with each other. What is beautiful connection, what is mm. uh, amazing. Uh, uh, and when you look uh, longer and we guide you through uh, different breath work uh, and so on, mm. that uh, we amplify, uh, we make the magic out of it, then yes, you experience um, things very often uh, that, that no any drugs, uh, can give you such a high and uh, there are no side effects. The effect mm -hmm. is love, more love to yourself, more love to the others. And uh, yes, uh, the other exercise like melting heart, very common on the tantric workshops. Yes, the same, when you hug each other for more than 30 seconds, uh, 
uh, you connect through the breath, uh, you use some other extra techniques so we guide you, uh, you may uh, feel uh, again more happy, more connected on the heart level this time, mm -hmm. on the body level. We give you a lot of um, different ways of communicating with each other, with yourself. We're gonna explore some things all together. Um, we're gonna uh, teach a lot, a lot tantric massages, uh, and uh, uh, we would go deeper. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure people will be ready for even the highest way of uh, uh, healing and um, exploring uh, the um, highest. Uh, uh, ways of uh, orgasms. Uh, that, uh, yes, we will uh, t teach you how to transform uh, the love making uh, from the minutes uh, with losing the energy into the uh, hours of uh, love making. So, mm. and also um, teaching um, about the energetics too. I think um, you know, especially people that are interested in Tantra, like um, when they stumble up, up, upon Tantra, you're really ready for the next part of your journey or that soul searching and, and like yourself, like knowing there's something more to life than, than you know, the matrix or the, you know, the everyday. And um, so we'll be teaching as well the, the energetics, like how we how we're saying, use it, don't lose it. But it's also about knowing your own energies, you, your your channels, your um, um, your chakra systems, knowing what to do with this sexual potent pure energy, and not just using it to manipulate, but, but to using that potential. Um, in all areas of your life, areas that don't work anymore. So, um, so, so much understanding your Kundalini, um, um, meditations. Yeah. Yes, using uh, the different ways of communicating in the relationships, five mm. love languages, uh, being in the conscious relationships, giving you a tools how to uh, be. Uh, become more happy, more conscious, m more um, alive uh, uh, couple. Uh, very often couples mm. uh, reach the point that it's the boredom and uh, the, like, um, the triggers are taking over and there is no more happiness. They still love each other, but they lost. And yes, we give tremendous amount of tools, experiences that it would uh, give you the power to go through it, give you the happiness uh, to go through uh, the life uh, and uh, yes, uh, have uh, basically honeymoon forever, mm -hmm. yes? Yeah, and teaching conscious relationships as well. Um, teaching about that and, and what it means to be in a conscious relationship and how to bring that into your world as well. Um, yeah, having deeper relationships. I think that's um, a lot of us are searching for is having more deeper, more meaning, more connection, more soul into it, yeah, yeah. Yes, we will have a lot of fun, a lot of uh, music, a lot of nature, fire, uh, friendship. Uh, I'm sure we're going to make friendships uh, uh, deeper than maybe in many other circumstances. Uh, we're going to connect uh, on the like tantric family levels uh, mm. uh, all together uh, yes so 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 we're gonna create a community what is already there but also like yes we're gonna uh, make it bigger mm. make it stronger make it new uh, and so so yes um, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun but also conscious fun and uh, we uh, we're gonna learn we're gonna uh, connect uh, on many many levels uh, and uh, yeah use uh, explore tantra mm -hmm. in yeah. the best ways i guess uh, as we can provide yeah and, and, and I, 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 
yeah and 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 bringing soul tribe together i guess mm-hmm. or or having a, a sense of community and um and a container where we can um a safe container where we can um authentically um learn from ourselves as well and um Yes, we are very happy. We feel very honored uh, that uh, uh, we can, in this way, bring new energy to beautiful, new, uh, sacred uh, land, sacred uh, mm-hmm. space, the temple, uh, what we are building uh, and what you are creating. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're very happy already that the volunteers are uh, supporting the place and uh, this uh, event, uh, our energy, it's sparking uh, the energy for creating new uh, uh, center and we're very thankful to you that uh, you are doing mm-hmm. it because uh, yes uh, uh, the uh, everywhere uh, i see like the world is awakening uh, and it needs uh, the changes uh, so much uh, than never before so uh, we all together have mm-hmm. to bring uh, bigger changes that uh, ever was brought to this world and that's what we are doing so um, we're very thankful to you that uh, you're creating this space and we are happy to be uh, we feel very honored that Mm. we are the first ones to uh, bring uh, the teachings uh, there and so yes Mm. uh, I don't know how we are with the time but at the end I wish really to give some practice uh, that I would like to share with you this use it don't lose it method uh, and so uh, I don't know I just um, yeah yeah we I, have I, maybe a, a few minutes uh, I just want to mention for people who don't have a partner because we were talking a lot about couples and uh, relationships but you also can come without partner because uh, you don't have to have to have a partner and also if you have a partner maybe it's a question for you Michael and Trisha uh, is it okay to come without partner if you have it uh, because sometimes women want to go, but uh, man says no, you go alone. It's not for me, or or different, or opposite. So is it okay if I want to, if I want to grow to bring it to my family, maybe? Or people are afraid to to split up, you know, sometimes. But uh, maybe it can also grow the family. So what can you maybe say about this? In little. Sentences. So I would say um, every couple, it's uh, up to them to figure that out. And uh, I would say be transparent, talk about maybe, you know, like uh, establish some uh, boundaries, uh, what uh, the one person feels uh, uh, that it's okay or um, what not, and be very conscious and uh, honest uh, about uh, everything. And um, yes, from the other side, uh, this is yeah long it could be long discussion but i would uh, keep it very shortly if one person wants to grow and the other person doesn't then uh, you know like uh, uh, if one person wants to grow it's inevitable that uh, this like soul wants to grow and uh, it's just it's already uh, you cannot stop it if you stop it the relationship will suffer and whatever. Mm. So be conscious about that. Like, uh, yes, uh, this uh, elastic, what is connection between you, one person is growing and the other person uh, want to stay uh, the same. Uh, This elastic, what is connection can in some moment break. Uh, The circumstances can guide, okay, this uh, doesn't work anymore. And so, so it's up to the person actually who, if, if there is love, if there is love, it's not up to the person to slow down their uh, need mm-hmm. for growth, but to the person who, uh, it's, uh, doesn't want to grow, it's to uh, grow for the love of this relationship, you know, to motivate yourself because you cannot hold, uh, uh, your the person who you love in unhappiness in unawareness. The growth is like every step. We learn how to love better. Uh, we uh, 
are more happy. And so you cannot uh, uh, hold the person down uh, because uh, you don't want to grow and the other person wants. This is not love. You have to support your uh, fellow partner. If she wants to grow, you have to support her. Otherwise, uh, you you hold her back from the happiness. You know? so, so I would say this, uh, it just flowed through me. <laughs> I think it's very conscious, uh, conscious. channeled. <laughs> And, yeah. and singles as well. Singles um, are open to come as well, um, especially if of they're course. wanting to connect. Of course. Or if, yeah, to explore it's, um, Tantra. Uh, yes, yeah. it's uh, like you ask the question how to find the best partner and so Coming to these events, yes, you uh, uh, connect with the people who also are already into it so that's that's uh, like if you're single welcome very much you know like you may uh, find your perfect match uh, exactly by uh, joining the uh, uh, classes together and yes i see it on uh, like uh, many retreats people just meet and it's beautiful to see after uh, years the same couple who meet at your class and uh, going through the things together mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's uh, it's like very special to meet in these circumstances mm -hmm. and it makes you a good start and a strong start for the relationship yeah because you are both already at the same point came to learn <laughs> so yeah. it's very very good yeah uh, before before the last uh, practice w w what you will give for us like a gift uh, tonight uh, in this i want to mention that uh, for those who are watching this live uh, our payota uh, tantra retreat payota in our payota land uh, from 1st of july until 8th of july you also can come just for a weekend not for full retreat but for half for, for a weekend uh, and for both these options, for full and for uh, weekend, you can have a discount if you watch this um, live stream. So discount is 30 euro and uh, it's until the 24, until Yoninis, the celebration uh, of uh, John. <laughs> um, so until 24th of June, uh, you can use the code uh, LIFE30. Live tres decent. Mm. I will say in Lithuanian also. Oh. So use this code. I will I will put it in the comments also. And Trisha want to say something. Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> come along, guys. If you are wanting to explore and um, wanting fun and like Michal was saying, um, change your life, transform your life. Um, come along to this festival. Um, it will change you. It will change your life. Yeah. Aho. <laughs> Aho. And yeah. Michal, the last uh, thing, the last practice, uh, what you will gift for us, for those maybe who cannot come, but they want to have something for this life, what we can practice in daily life. <laughs> so, yes, uh, also... Uh... Before we finish, I would like to add that uh, there is a lot of um, material uh, also with this practice. Uh, what goes deeper than just this short uh, um, explanation. Uh, so you can look at Tantra Movement uh, YouTube uh, channel. And um, yes, uh, uh, Trish also uh, shared a lot uh, on uh, Light of Lemuria, yes. Uh, so, yes, uh, check it out. And, of course, uh, you on the Tantra path. Uh, okay, so, so um, yes. Um, uh, so, uh, use it, don't lose it. Uh, it's the practice to not lose the energy through typical sex, uh, through the ejaculation or through the clitoral orgasm uh, in case of the woman. Uh, but uh, to bring this energy, 
uh, to the heart uh, and uh, to be able to make love uh, basically for hours because you don't lose the energy so you keep uh, on and in that way also you experience uh, the higher uh, ways of uh, feeling ecstasy so um, yes uh, the uh, typical sex it's uh, uh, not uh, any more uh, option if you start to feel this and you start to uh, be motivated by this. So um, I will just explain you how we do it. Basically, uh, when we make love, um, we reach a so-called point of no return uh, when uh, the man uh, or woman experience the peak orgasm and uh, yes, men ejaculate or the woman have clitoral orgasm and the, we both uh, basically lose the energy. Uh, and uh, in uh, 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 tantric love making, uh, we avoid to go through this peak and to lose the energy. So before the point uh, of uh, no return, uh, we do use it, don't lose it method. And this method uh, contains uh, three parts what are interconnected and in the same time. Uh, that's, those parts are PC muscle, uh, the second is uh, breath, and the third is uh, visualization. PC muscle is the muscle what you use to, to stop being. So um, you go next time to toilet, and you force yourself a few times to recognize which muscles are you using to stop peeing. And then uh, you uh, start to train this PC muscle. Uh, I would say, like, sh just shortly, you just can uh, start with uh, 20 squeezes three times a day, and you build up uh, uh, every day uh, 10 more. Don't overdo. If you feel any tension, just slow down with adding. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, when uh, you uh, start to train it, uh, yes, it's one of the golden advice. Uh, when you train it for uh, one month, uh, you build up uh, to uh, 100 per time. Uh, so you do uh, three times per day, altogether uh, 300. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, by doing it, uh, uh, you make this muscle stronger, and yes, I guarantee, just doing this, uh, you will be very happy for this uh, advice. So, yes, um, but in general, with the PC muscle, you tight uh, the PC muscle, you shut the energy up. With uh, the breath, you suck the energy up. And then uh, with the breath, also, it's like gas pedal, like uh, with the movement. Uh, when you slow down uh, the breath especially, but the movement as well, uh, you're not only able to slow down your pain, your anger, your uh, fear, uh, sadness, uh, but you can also slow down your excitement. So uh, uh, you can uh, control and spread the ecstasy to the full body instead of being uh, to having it accumulating uh, around your genitals and then exploding through the peak orgasm. So with the slow breath, you can um, uh, slow down your excitement. You have more control over the thing. So so that's important for you to know in general. Uh, and then the third thing is visualization. We visualize because uh, the energy follows attention. So that's why we visualize. You can visualize how you like it, uh, maybe as a green light ball or as a stream of light, uh, maybe some uh, colorful liquid, whatever way you uh, feel. Uh, so basically, um, yes. Uh, just before the point of no return, uh, better too early than too late, we um, squeeze the PC muscle and on the breath in, you imagine that the energy goes uh, uh, from your genitals on the back of your spine and it goes uh, to the level of the heart chakra 
And then on the breath out, you relax the PC muscle and you imagine that the energy goes back to the genitals. So on the breathing, tighten your PC muscle and the energy goes to the heart. Then on the breath out, relaxing the PC muscle, the energy goes back to the genitals. One more time. Breathing, tightening the PC muscle, energy goes to the heart, breathe out, relaxing the PC muscle, energy goes back to the genitals. So um, after a few circles uh, of uh, this, uh, this too much energy what uh, was accumulated uh, around our genitals and was ready to explode and get lost, we brought to our heart. So we are more connected with uh, ourselves, more loving ourselves, but we also more connected and more loving our partners. And what for, uh, what is most important, we are far away from the point of no return, so we can continue with lovemaking. And in that way, yes, uh, every time when again we feel the, uh, reaching uh, to the point of no return, we do this method. Uh, better too early than too late because if it's too late, it's game over. And in that way, every time we go with the higher ecstasy because we don't lose the ecstasy, we don't lose the energy, but we're building it up by hours of lovemaking, basically. And then uh, you, we are having uh, a lot of energy from lovemaking. We uh, do not finish with uh, uh, losing it, but we keep this energy. And in that way, yes, we are more happy, more vital, more healthy. So, so and uh, yes, uh, we are more satisfied with our lovemaking because uh, it didn't end up in the best moments, but we keep uh, the better, better uh, moments. Also, we activate uh, higher points of... Uh, orgasm in our body, so we are more uh, open to experience the so-called like uh, G-spot orgasm or any other ones, uh, higher ones, what you don't lose the energy, but you actually gain the energy. So yes, that's, 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 that's it. Uh, so yes, do not believe me, try it, uh, uh, learn how to do it, practice and uh, master it and uh, uh, th there is no better practice uh, in my life uh, uh, there is no uh, stronger uh, spiritual uh, practice body practice uh, relationship practice what i can imagine it's one of the best gift i ever experienced uh, in my life so um, and uh, yes uh, do not believe me check it out yourself <laughs> Aho. Oh, oh, oh my God. Thank you so much, both of you. And Trisha came again. Uh, very nice to see you both. Uh, I cannot wait to see you live. <laughs> thank you so much for this conversation. It was so, so... We, we touched a lot of important things. And uh, I'm so happy that it's not cheesy life. It's very uh, rich life, I could say. So those who are just started to watch, please... Uh, watch it from the beginning and also I want to remind you that uh, the discount code for those who watched uh, is uh, until 24th of June until Yoniness uh, the discount code is LIVE30 LIVE30 so you can use it in your registration form and uh, yeah so thank you so much uh, Michal and Trisha and uh, see you very very soon <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Use it, don't lose it, share love and stay connected and see you soon. Uh, life. Uh, we looking forward uh, to share much more love, friendship, everything uh, in yeah. uh, Lithuania, in the nature, in the beautiful sacred land new temple uh, be there you know like make this step uh, together with uh, us to, into creating a new world uh, mm -hmm.
Yeah, this... and people are uh, thanking for you. Thank you. Uh, people are writing that. Thank Trish. Thank Michal. It was great chat video. Very interesting and informative. See you. Thank you. So thank you so much and see you. Thank you, Dangola, yes. for all of the things you do. Yeah. We're looking forward. Thank you. <laughs>